Hey friends, I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm gonna tell you a little bit today about L.B. Newton. You ready? Let's L.B. Newton is written by Josh Funk and illustrated by Esther Gary. But what we know about people who like to create is part of creating is failing and trying new things and making awesome things. L.B. Newton is such an interesting boy and he wants to make things and he's driven by creativity and my kids loved his story. We really got into it. I'm going to read you the first page because you need to get, just get a feel for Josh, what Josh Funk is putting down. Here's the title page. Josh Funk, just like he's a lyricist, man. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Little L.B. Newton was a thinker from the start. He built a mega stroller after taking his apart. The day that L.B. learned to count, he ran to mom and cried. He couldn't reach infinity, despite how hard he tried. Isn't that fun? My kids loved it. Uh, they loved the, the rhyme in the book. They really enjoyed the story. Uh, when I told them that Josh Funk was also the author of um, Sir Pancake and Lady French Toast, they were super pumped. Uh, I think some of them have actually met Josh at Nerd Camp. They just loved it and they were so into it. I think this book is really, really, really fun. And uh, what I love the most about reading this book to my class today was the discussion we had afterwards. Albie might seem a little self-centered in this book and he's very focused on himself and his own creations, even at the detriment to his classmates. And when we, we had the discussion that we had was just around, you know, like, have you ever been annoyed by a student? Has a kid ever done anything? to um, frustrate you and everyone's hands go up and we kind of just the conversation went into the place of well do you think that they were doing that on purpose because um, i've seen how we respond to the, when kids annoy us and frustrate us but maybe sometimes that you know they just are unaware of what their actions are doing and it led to a really good conversation and hopefully we have enough conversations about things like that we'll start to be more empathetic and try to understand others and make sure that our hearts are thinking about people other than ourselves so i think lb newton number one it's a really fun book number two the illustrations are just super inviting and engaging you're gonna love reading the uh oh someone's calling should i answer it right, i'll be right back Sure. I'm back. I was making a list about why I love this book and I forgot what number I was on. But I think it's an important book. I think it's a fun book. I think that a lot of times when you read a book where you laugh and you smile and it just seems kind of silly, can lead to some really fantastic conversations. And uh, Josh and Esther have created a beautiful book, so you should check it out. L.B. Newton. I'll put the links uh, to IndieBound if you want to purchase from them. I'll put the link to Amazon down below as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're reading wonderful picture books with the people in your lives because great picture books will help make the world a much better place. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome-tastic day and happy, happy reading.